in a world where the demands on us are infinite and our resources are finite, audiobooks have become an increasingly popular option because it's like, wow, you can do your dishes and you can listen to audiobooks at the same time. But that's not enough. What if I want to read more in less time? What if I want to maximize my productivity? Which begs the question, can we listen to audiobooks on three times speed? This video was sponsored by Babbel. Hi, it's Divi G. What does the J stand for? J stands for G. The average person reads at a speed of around 238 words per minute. And the page, depending on the font size, is around about 250 to 300 words. So around about, you're reading like a page a minute average, all right? And if you compare that to the average speed of recorded narration, also known as one time speed, it's closer to 135 words per minute, which sounds a little bit like this. I have a fatal flaw. I like to think we all do. Or at least that makes it easier for me when I'm writing. Building my heroines and heroes up around this one self-sabotaging trait. You get the drill. And apparently this is the average talking speed as well, but I like to think that I talk a little bit faster. Two times speed is exactly what two times speed sounds like, and it's two times the speed, aka twice as fast. Which so sounds a little bit like this. Thing they learned to do to protect themselves and can't let go of, even when it stops serving them. Maybe, for example, you didn't have much control over your life. So true. theoretically, if you listen to audiobooks on two times speed, you'd be listening at around the same pace as the average reader. And Dude. actually, I think Audible, not a sponsor, but also if you want to sponsor me, lets you listen to a mind-boggling 3.5 times speed, which would be like reading 472 words per minute or around two pages a minute so i went online and it says that people who listens to books at three times speed make up two percent of the listening population and you know what i was thinking yeah perhaps this is my only way to access the one percent i'm gonna attempt to listen to audiobooks on three times speed for the next 24 hours and really understand a can i even do this b why would i even do this C, how long would I even do this? And D, when, when will you wear wigs? <laughs> <laughs> and in the language of learning, it's quite new things. A little word about our sponsor for today, Babbel. From year three onwards, we learn French. Tell me why the only phrase that British people in the UK know how to speak in French is Le weekend dernier, je suis allé au cinéma. Like George, I know you're not going to the cinema that often. <laughs> Well, it's a good thing that Babbel has speech recognition, so you can fix that accent up. The way that Babbel teaches you is about real-world conversations that you'll actually have curated by expert teachers in the language. You can choose your own method of learning. You can book a class with a language teacher. You can do quizzes. I feel like I've had enough embarrassment when I'm abroad trying to order just simple things. Why is the waiter looking at me like I've insulted all of his ancestors? I just, I just want a croissant. Or something I'm using Babbel for now is keeping up my spanish because i miss it and i used to talk in spanish with my friends and now i can't do that i anymore. think they said it only takes like three weeks to learn a new language so if you're out here or holiday coming up then they have 65 percent off which is a bargain and you can access that using the link in my description thanks so much for listening to that and supporting my sponsors which helps to support me and the channel Hey, I'm not gonna cheat the system and just try and listen to audiobooks 24 seven because nobody actually lives like that in the real world. So I'm only gonna listen when I normally do. Normalmente it takes me a week and a half to finish an audiobook. Closer to two weeks as I'm being honest. So if an average audiobook is 10 hours and I put it on three times speed, it should only take me three and a bit hours to read it. In theory, in 24 hours, I should be able to finish an audiobook or maybe two. Let's start the experiment. Boop. Day one, I've just woken up from doing nothing in my bed for three hours i want to start with something a bit more simple so like for example like look it says a little life 32 hours yeah i don't even have 32 hours left of my life the love hypothesis for example 11 hours eight minutes let's start with one time speed all right by ali hazelwood read for you by callie dalton Lee, olive was a bit on the fence about this whole grad school thing not because she didn't like science. She no, did. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do this. One time speed. Do I look like I'm Walt Disney and I can just freeze myself and reawaken whenever I want in the future? I don't want time left. I've got high blood pressure. Do I have this life? No. 
1.5. Let's start with 1.5 as a baseline and then go up because I can handle 1.5 for a fact. Way in front of a Bunsen burner to uncover a trivial slice of knowledge. Why not be the key to happiness? Eyes through the tears and only barely managed to. Her entire field of view was blurry. All she could see was a watery outline. Someone tall, dark haired, dressed in black and not like it came from 10 feet above her. Sure, why do you ask? Because you are crying. I'm up here the speed. Oh my god, oh, it's been three I'm minutes. Well, I sort of am, but it's just tears. 1.8. Let's go. I do not. She sighed, slumping against the tiled wall. It's my contacts. They expired some time ago, and they were never that great to begin with. Okay, 2.1 speed. I'm not gonna lie, I'm zoning out a little bit. I think that's more my own thing in it. I'm gonna go up to 2.3, just because it's been 10 minutes now. Disappointed and insecure. Not at all like the spunky larger than life on I'm used to. So I just lied and told her that I was already getting some. She had no idea what the exact number of was. There's some words that I'm like, my brain is like skipping. Too many. Therefore, she reasoned that if she never had a misfortune in drafting, I feel like I have to really concentrate, and it's only at 2.3. I don't know what I'm gonna do at 3.0 speed. I decided to close my eyes to firstly not be able to see the horrors of the reality of life but also because they just helped me concentrate a little bit more. I'll switch to left hand for no reason other than five time. I've been busy, busy. Here I began to fall asleep because having the burden and responsibilities of being the eldest first gen immigrant is uh is a tiring. So the speed actually wasn't that big of an issue and I wasn't falling asleep because it was boring per se. I think I just I have I have like vitamin issues or something. Seven, eight, two point nine, let's go. Uh, don't ask me why I decided to go to 2.9 times speed after falling asleep for half of 2.3. And we all make decisions in life. Um, basically, so far, the only plot I gathered is that there is a girl and she's a PhD student and she tries to convince her best friend that she's over a guy and she kisses this dude in the hallway and ends up being a professor. And then, for some reason, they start fake dating. And don't ask me who any of the other characters are because I didn't catch their names. And that's basically the, the, all of the plot that I was able to gather from this point. I'm gonna do three times speed now because I can understand that, I just don't know what's going on. So, listening on three times speed is what I imagine taking speed feels like. I've been listening to this book for an hour. I'm at three times speed, I've been listening to it for 10 minutes, and there's like, if I lose concentration it's so hard for me to understand what the hell they're saying i'm thinking who the hell goes all the way up to 3.5 are you mad let's try 3.3 .3 times speed and let's try that for 10 minutes and if it's too much i'm gonna go back down to 3 3.3 .3 times speed <laughs> Nah, 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 I can't do 3.3. Bro, that's like alien language. What is that? If anyone says they listen to books on above three times speed, yeah, they are chatting shit. It's like I can hear the words, but I don't understand the sentence that it's forming. Let's just listen to 3.5 because what? <laughs> The thing is that if I did listen to it on 3.5 times speed, I would be done with the entirety of the love hypothesis within two and a half hours. I'm gonna listen to it with headphones because I feel like you'll be clearer that way. You won't be able to hear it, but... It's definitely a lot clearer in my ears, but I still can't understand bits of it. Like, it just goes by so fast, I'm like... <laughs> oh. I need to pack up my bags because I need to get my train. A few minutes later. From the state of my nasty ass room, you can see why I'm not part of those aesthetic TikTok aesthetic study with me YouTubers. I mean, in general, whenever I multitask, I can't listen to audiobooks anyway. This is just another level. So I think from now onwards, I'm just going to listen to audiobooks when I'm doing nothing. A little later. <laughs> 
Here's some trying to be aesthetic shots of the beautiful sunset, which I'm a hoe for. This is me trying to look dramatic. Um, so I tried to listen from 2.3 times speed again, but <laughs> a little did I know what was coming for me. More moments later. I tried to listen on the train, but I felt really sick, so I had to stop. Now I'm waiting for the TFL. I don't know. I think I get travel sick a lot, so it was never going to work out anyway. Later. It's half 12. I just got home. I'm not going to be listening to any more audiobooks. I just want to sleep. As you can tell by my designer bags. <laughs> No, it ain't Gucci. I'm tired, okay? But normally audiobooks is like fine, but somehow because the speed was so high and I had to concentrate so much, I just felt like so ill. Like even when I was trying to listen to music, I just couldn't handle it. I to audiobooks tomorrow when I wake up, when I'm trying to get ready for the day, and maybe when I'm eating, something like that. But yeah, I thought I'd be able to finish the love hypothesis by today, but I don't think that's happening, especially considering like I was asleep for <laughs> few chapters so might just have to spark notes that anyway i'm gonna go to bed now good night the next day i just woke up i guess when i was asleep i decided to cosplay as a fucking rat's nest on my head i'm gonna shower brush my teeth and stuff and i'm not gonna film that because <laughs> that's for another type of platform darling one very long digestive tract later Actually, it's kind of strange because in my house, I was able to understand three times speed a lot more clearly than I did the day before. And I don't know why. So after this clip, I actually ended up finishing the book on the train. Now, I don't want to spoil it, but it's been so hyped up and I just don't get it. I don't get it. Like, it was fine. It was cute. And I think the fact that it was very, like, simple type of what Paddish story, I was able to really get the gist of what's going on. But I feel like if I didn't, if I read something a little bit more complicated, I would have absolutely no idea what, what like, what the hell. You know what, if it's the last day of December and you're trying to hit that good tree school, maybe do it with a book like this. So, how did that go? As you can tell, it wasn't that good. There was a time in the love hypothesis when they were doing the dirty and it was on three times speed. Oh, like, this is a wild experience. I mean, like, huh? There's a quickie, and then there's that quickie. You can theoretically absorb a good chunk of what's going on, but it really just detracts from enjoying the story for what it is. It detracts from the oral performance. Hey, I feel like it just becomes a productivity race. Like what? Like what are you trying to prove? I am me and I am my brain. So maybe my brain was not equipped to handle it or maybe it's something that I need more practice. I did find that as time went on, I'd always have to start again from two point something speed and then I'd have to work my way up. But when I did work my way up, there was a time where I was actually, you know, I was able to maintain that level of concentration and focus where I could actually understand what was going on. And this was when I was like doing my makeup and stuff. But apart from that, all the other times it was... <laughs> So the narrator is a really big part of your experience and the enjoyment and understanding of a book. I feel like I was missing all of that. So it's, so it's kind of like if I have to make out what the sentence is and if I'm missing key words and characters and chunks of the plot and I can only get a gist of what's happening and I have to concentrate this hard. I mean, not to get existential, but what's the point? I don't doubt that some people can probably decode three times speed and I feel like it depends heavily on the type of text that you're reading. If any of you guys listens to audiobooks on three point five times speed or anything above three you messed up but actually wow how do you how do you do that share some tips but 
It's a no from me. To be me. fair though, it was only 24 hours and maybe it would be different if I did this over 72 or a week. Maybe that's a future video, you know? What speed do you like to listen to audiobooks? And also what narrator? Because I don't know if it's just because I have a preference for British narrators or what. I'm not trying to say nothing about an accent, but there is a strong correlation between if the narrator of an audiobook has a British accent and my enjoyment of it. It's just the American accent I can't do it man it just like, I can't do it. so thank you so much for being a part of this experiment with me please support me and my channel by subscribing for more designs and bookish design content I'm actually doing a dissertation on the audiobook experience for my masters follow me on my social medias my at is it's divya g on twitter and instagram and it's divya on beams where I chat a lot of stuff my favorite movies social commentary books media and I test out some content before I make it into a bigger video. Yeah! Hug time, hug time, huggy, huggy, hug time. You know what? Me hugging the camera is actually translating to me hugging people in real life now. Like, it's easier for me. Oh, we love progress, right? All right, let's go. Why am I so, like, hyped up? I don't even know. I haven't even had any coffee today. I've just had bare waffles and beans. Maybe this is my body on beans, you know. Okay, anyway. <laughs> okay, okay. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Boop. okay, let's do thumbnails. Thumbnails. How do I do this? I don't know. What's the gist? What's the down to And in a year, assuming my brain is tip top condition, I have no responsibilities. Sponsorships are flying my way. I don't know. I win the lottery and I listen to books, let's say five, five out of seven days a week. And let's say I listen to books um, Monday to Friday. That's 1,152 books a year. Okay, enough. I'm, I'm not even in England, baby. I'm all the way living my life in the islands. Bro, I wish I had money. I would travel all around the world, man. Ah. I need to pay the rent first. We're not wasting our time doing, you know, the non-productive, non-personal growth development making, patriarchal, non-girl bossing, restrictive, you know, hidden labor manual things like cleaning. Not good, not good. That was not good, my friend. Not good. That was not. The G stands for not good, man. Not good.